everyone and welcome to another SQL Server training session with Learn at NoStar. In today's session, we are going to answer another commonly asked SQL interview question, which is what is the difference between translate and replace functions? So at first glance, these functions might seem confusing because they serve the same purpose of replacing some values in a string by a specific set of another value. So let's take an example where we might see that they perform in a similar fashion. So I have two examples over here and I'll go into the details of how to write the translate and replace functions later on, but just to see what the confusion is all about. So here what we we're doing is we're using the translate function in the first query and we are replacing a set of numbers by the alphabet by corresponding alphabets so if we execute this query uh, the first set that you see over here is the value in which we want to replace the string or characters these are these are the strings or characters that we want to replace and this is the value by which we want to replace it so don't get confused what in simple words it means is that we want to replace one two three four five six seven eight nine by a b c d e f g h i in this particular string okay so let's execute this query and see what is the output for us so if we execute this query this works as expected by replacing all the numbers over here by this particular string that we have specified over here now if instead of using the translate function I choose to use the replace function I would be getting the same result so the format of the replace function is similar to the translate function format which means that we are saying here that we want to replace all these numbers by this particular string in this value okay so let's execute this and see what is the output for us so the output here again is the same these all these numbers have been replaced by this set of alphabets so where is the difference the difference is that translate function works by replacing characters so it works by, by replacing a character by another character value now when you say character it means one is a character two is a single character three is a single character in itself replace function on the other hand replaces the entire string value so here this is the string that we are trying to replace by this particular string which is a b c d d e f g h i so let's see an example to understand what exactly is the difference over here and what we are talking about so first we said that the translate function replaces character by character so what happens if i add a one over here what would be my output the output would still would it be the same let's see let's execute and see no the output is not the same what has happened is you have got an a at the end over here so what the translate function is doing is it is replacing a single character starting with the first character that you have specified over here so one the one would be replaced by the first character over here which is a similarly two will be replaced by b and so on so to make it simpler to understand the first character one would be replaced by a two would be replaced by b three would be replaced by c and so on till nine which would be replaced by i if these numbers get repeated anywhere in this particular string again because we said that one is going to be replaced by a you have got an a at the end over here okay so this is how translate function works now because we have similar looking strings over here and if you're getting confused I'm going to add some more alphabets to it so let's say I am going to add okay let's say we add some XXX and some ZZZ over here now what is going to happen again let's see okay you retain the X's and the Z's because we didn't specify them to be replaced all the numbers are replaced okay by these set of characters now let's say instead of replacing one by a I want to replace it with a let's say a y okay so I put a y over here now what will happen the one in the value the string value will be replaced by a y okay 
so this is how a translate function works it works character by character it basically replaces character and not the entire string the replace function on the other hand replaces the string so if i add let's say a one over here at the very end and i execute this function what i would get in the output is this first set of string which I have specified over here to be replaced. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These continuous characters of string will be replaced by A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, which is a string that I have specified over here. The last one has not been replaced. It has come as it is over here. Why this has happened is because it replaces a string. The replace function replaces a string. The translate function replaces characters. That is the difference. Now, let's say I want to replace all this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 string, okay, by an empty string. I just want to replace it by an empty string. So, if I take this away and now execute this function, okay, what I'm going to get is all this part of the string, which I have specified over here, has been replaced by an empty string. So, what remains is the one at the end, which you can see in the output over here now the translate function okay so another difference that we've observed over here is that you can replace the string okay which could be of any number or any length by a different length of string so this was nine characters over here which i have replaced by zero characters okay or maybe say if I want to replace it by one character, I just want to replace one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, the entire string by just one character, which is A. I can do that. So it can happen with varying length. Now translate works character by character. So let's say I specify, I do not specify uh, the last character over here, which is I. Okay, so what I am telling a SQL server is that replace one by Y, two by B, and so on till. So it is going to search what it what is the character that nine needs to be replaced with. But since these are nine characters here and only eight characters here, it is not going to find it. So let's execute this and see if we get an output. So if we get this, execute this, you would know that there is an error message which simply says the second and third arguments of the translate built-in function must contain an equal number of characters. So here you have to specify an equal number of characters okay so this is basically the difference between translate and replace okay for translate you have to specify the same number of characters it basically works by replacing each character by the replacement that you have specified in your function replace replaces the entire string you can replace a string which is of let's say multiple characters let's say the length is 10 by a string of a varying length so you can replace a string of length 10 by a, a string of length 5 and so on okay so this is how this would work so this is the answer to the question of difference between translate and replace in many situations you would find that the output for these functions is the same if it is a continuous set of characters and it is the same string that you want to replace then it would work but in many other cases you would observe that there is this difference that translate replaces character by character and replace replaces the entire string so this is what you have to keep in mind when you want to use these functions i hope that you found this video useful if you did then please do not forget to like comment and share this video and please do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel thanks a lot for watching goodbye